starting about this Xbox versus PS4, when we revisiting the whole subject, it's not really a, a versus as much as we just talking about both systems and our experiences with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so thus far, this the hot take about the Xbox and the PlayStation. If you can sum it up in one word, we're gonna start it off with the sum it. You'll sum the PS4 with one word and sum the Xbox up with one word. You wanna go first? X. I can do it. Okay, go first. Xbox services affordable. Okay. PlayStation 4 games. Okay, okay. I see I like how you went positive with the shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I'm I'm so I'm gonna take the other end. Though. I'm gonna go negative. Xbox One, dashboarded. You got it. Yeah. PS4, software closed. Same software, shit, right? Software closed. Yeah, you know how you get back. Go back to the main menu. Your software closed for no reason. Mm, no. Yeah, what is it called when, no. you, when you get that when you get dashboard and play playstation what is it called it's when a, you it get just, dash it, it's, it's it usually when you says, go back to the dashboard the game's still going around no 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 no. i'm talking about sometimes you get kicked out of your game are you talking about crashes yeah like a crash what is called when you go back it's like software closed right no it says it's been an unexpected error game crash something like that i think we we talk about it wrong we talking about something different when i was playing 2k on ps4 that bitch is just say software close. Mm, I don't know. It, it probably crashed. Well, whatever it was. But uh, but it happens on both systems. I hear like it happens. Just... It definitely happens on both systems. Also, but but you know the the sale for PS4 was well we not we not uh at least I, at least we don't get dashboarded so much. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't really get dashboarded like that. Then I'm like, damn, I gotta go to PS4. I went about a PS4, went about 2K system software closed. Like, Wait, so what do you uh, mean by dashboard? So the, dashboard so mean your it, game crashed just like a PS4. Like your game oh, crashed. Oh, okay, you that's what you sound like. Man, you use this new term, this new terminology, this slang. Whoa, this Tampa slang. Well, you you got never heard. Well, you got to. I just heard game crash. No, 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 no. What, what, what did I say wrong? <laughs> I'm just not nothing. I just never heard that. You well, you know, you like is that. getting old. And shit, so you know, a lot of stuff you ain't gonna be a hit on. And well, I'm aren't you older than me? But anyway, that's a but you know. Topic. Hey, but listen, check this out. The word dashboard is not a a, 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 a Tampa terminology. In the Tampa terminology, right? You just don't heard of. You never heard of it because you don't play Xbox, right? That's probably true. That is true. It's not probably true. It's true, <laughs> man. It's or damn people true. just don't know. I be on the internet though, but I never seen dashboarding. So dash. Well, you, well, you never. But it must be the term we come from. People different... don't know know what a game crash is. Right. Well, you gotta understand. We are from two different communities too. I'm come from to the two K community, right? Where you you well words like trash was born. And got trash. and dashboard and dashboard. You got dashboard. That's, okay. them, that's I was gonna say trash. trash. Trash came from everywhere. No boy, I ain't. You will never hear a pl people call trash more than in a two K. I game. don't know. And you then it just kind of spilled out. Trash. That shit garbage. That shit ass. That shit cheeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say that. But cheeks. in two K, you're trash. He's trash. Yeah. So don't go with that. He's trash. He's doo doo. You know what I'm saying? Like it was, it was just Dude. one of the most crazy communities but, ever. But but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But to swing it back around, man. When I when I think uh, <laughs> my my experience with the PS4, man. You know, I'm a I'm a I'm not a I'm a I'm not a biased person toward any one system. You are. Yeah. You biased. Who's biased? I'm not biased. I just named the positive by yeah, Xbox. You, I'm not what? biased. That I mean you biased. That's just like a white person biased. saying, "Oh, oh, oh I, I'm not racist. I like fried chicken." No, it's totally two different things. I don't hate on y'all. Right but you said you said well, I have a preference, just like you have a preference. I have a preference. Okay, I have a preference. I don't have a preference. So you're biased. Your preference makes you kind of nah. 
you, you so you tell me your pre preference is not Xbox. It's not. Your preference. My preference is not Xbox. My preference it, it is, is. Leno. Check it out. If we played the same games, I would have a PS4 still. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm not biased though, because I would call that bullshit on Sony. Well, I'm not. I'm not. PlayStation. Well, the reason I play if I Xbox bias, I wouldn't do is because Dre and them play all multiplayer games and they play yeah. all day long. I know that's where most of your friends. That's where most of my right. friends are. And PS4 is where Kyle you say, is. Fuck your. You, you said fuck with your friends at on PS4 though. And you know, y'all never. Oh. <laughs> See, man. What about your friends? <laughs> but no, no, no. I mean, but I think let's revisit the 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 uh, the theme of the dashboards not not dashboarded we passed that but like uh the user how, how y'all interface y'all interface has not changed at all who y'all's no y'all's the ps4s what? well no no stop saying y'all i'm talking about the ps4 because I, I went but i went both ways with that i got both yeah. of them. you didn't you never crossed and tried to try to figure out an xbox you never even like it I mean, say that. I mean, I heard the Xbox is straight, but it just be laggy sometimes. Man. It was, or it was, at one point in time, it was really laggy, or it'd be like too much. Because I heard there's a lot of ads on your dashboard as well. I heard like it's people. People talk about how good the PS4 interface is, but it's just like to but me, it's just as much as the same as the PS3. It's just not as slow as the PS3. But you, still, you, uh, like, you had a, you had a good point that I never really thought about. It is a whole lot of fucking ads. On the Xbox. <laughs> Right. It is. It really is, dog. They sell cars and everything on that shit. And I heard. I don't know how it it's was right. now, but it used to be real hard to find stuff. But I heard with an update, it's not as laggy anymore. And I guess it's easy to find stuff. Well, things on there. You get used I heard the to snap it. mode was trash. I heard the smoke was trash. Like, I don't even think nobody still. I didn't even know the system still could snap. But no, I don't think they took it out. I believe. I don't know. I don't know. I think it might still be there, but it wasn't trash. You could kill that. It was not trash. It was just, I wouldn't call it trash, but you had to go out your way to use it. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's not, it's it not wasn't, like. What you say? Intuitive. It, work. Wasn't, it, wasn't, intuitive. it wasn't user friendly. Because, I mean, I, I remember plenty of days where I had like, it, it took me a minute to learn how to do it, but I had the, the connect snap mm -hmm. a basketball game while I was playing the game. Yeah. That was, that, that's awesome, man. Well, the thing about the PS4 you didn't interface too, you have to, well, before you had to do a lot just to like, because when it first came, when PS3 first came out, you know, you could put like any picture as your background and stuff. It took a minute for that shit to get the PS4. Yeah, probably because probably it had people like you putting naked women up shit up there and stuff. Man, some of my homies, because yeah, you could also used to download themes for the internet and just put that shit on there on the PS3. And some of my homies back in college had some nice ones, what some good ones shit? with naked woman. That was the truth. My yeah, Xbox. It, I Xbox that. got the same little theme thing. Yeah, it's a lot harder to see with all the ads in the way. You're right; it's got a lot of squares, bro. But what yeah. I like, what with, with with Xbox, really took off on PS4 is when they just said, "I'm for the flex on you. You're just a PS4. I'm a PC." And now I can play my games anywhere. I can I can take break my Microsoft stick out with my laptop and run Crackdown or whatever I want to run. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's like, cool too. But at the same time, though, too, I feel like that's well, well that's Microsoft thing now is providing everything as a service. But don't you think they're doing it that way now because the games aren't selling as well anymore? So they're just like, okay, we're just gonna provide it as a service, and they're the only one pushing for that, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you can say that game's that, not. That is well. good, but I for that is good for Microsoft as a whole, but for the Xbox brand, can you say their like, identity? They probably might be losing it a little bit because it's just like people gonna be like, okay, what do I need an Xbox then now for? You know, I know people talk about exclusivity and things like that when games should be exclusive or not. But it's just like that's just the way the console market is. Like you go into Nike Town, you're not gonna see a Didi shoe. Uh, what the hell is a Didi? Adidas. <laughs> Sorry. Adidas but shoe, you know, I understand competition what you're is good. But trust me, the console war the consoles won't go nowhere and no popularity has been taken from Microsoft. You wanna tell you why? Because ain't nobody spending fifteen hundred dollars 
for uh, uh, a, a graphic PC. card. That's true too. You know, it's not going nowhere, but it's just a cool like you. You. But it is okay. I'm gonna let you finish. It, it brings so many games back to relevance, like Final Fantasy, right? Like certain games that I would not play at home. You know what I'm saying? Now I can play a turn-based RPG, which don't need a lot of graphical power to run a Final Fantasy game, especially like a, a 2D one, and I can play it on the on the go. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, and then I can sit down in front of my beefy computer. I got all this stuff attached to it, and I can run Forza. I can play Killer Instinct, everything on Ultra. It's, it's, the, it's hands down a better experience. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. As a service, they push it for a service. It's not a service though, because it's the Microsoft Game Pass. Yeah, it's Game well, it's Pass. They, well, games. it's all yeah, they do. They they focus in on service. But like I said, like okay, but you're still closing off your market. Well, I mean, say, y'all you do, do the have same PCs. Thing. What's the PS? The PS4 now, the P- PlayStation now, right? Same thing, right? But look, but look, but look. That's streaming though. You can't actually download it. We all know streaming is ass. And then the games you can download. It's also on PS4, but they don't have the new hot exclusive. Like the only exclusive on there, I think, real big exclusive is Bloodborne. They still don't have a chart at Horizon Zero Dawn and all the other newer exclusives on there. God of War. You still have to get a PlayStation for that. But I'm saying, like, they're doing a great thing for Game Pass. It is, it's a great deal for ten dollars. But you see the quality of games though that they brought out since they've been doing Game Pass, like Recore. Yeah, 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 and all that stuff. So they just said, like, okay, well, yeah, we can sell it for 60, but I think we might get a pass for saying these are okay games for just ten dollars a month and put these on Game Pass. I mean, and some of that that is their fault too, but we'll, we'll just see. I, I, I hope xbox get better because they acquire all those new studios so they can come back being more competitive but right now it seems like they're just mostly giving up in the game space they was like okay we're just gonna provide services but the game space you know you mean uh, you mean like when a, you when you say game space you mean exclusives right yeah exclusive okay. but they are doing the thing with the multiplayer so with the xbox one x like a lot of the multiplats are either looking better or running better you know so that that is a good thing yeah that is good. but but compared to that though it's just like with their exclusive but they they hyped up the xbox one x but what they had to show for exclusive they had super lucky tales and those type of games but you and yeah it's 4k but you have like horizon zero dawn god of war yeah they haven't reached 4k but they still they they, they, they look better than yeah those exclusives for them supposedly the power of the x so god of war is not 4k it is like when on a pro only game that i know that reached 4k on a pro was like the kingdom hearts um remastered thing in so why why do y'all even have 4k have the pro for it grows it goes up higher it, it goes up higher past 1080 and for hdr like it might be 1400p upscale or it is what what with god of war is different it's like the same pixel count as 4k was like 2160 mm-hmm. but it's using that, that um uh, what you call it where they use like double frames to make the 4k image so it's like half of it is 180 the other half is 180 and they combine the image together it becomes 260p i forgot what they call it it's but it's not native 4k but if you count out the pixels it's still 2160. Ah, ah. yeah what they so, call it uh it's not native they said something uh, adaptive 4K, something like that. Yeah, they gotta adapt. That means like, they they use a little different. I got a slow 4K, but eh, we'll give y'all credit. Yeah, yeah. I guess I guess you could say that it's, it's going toward that all around entertainment piece uh, on mm-hmm. Xbox uh, versus. But we'll, uh, we'll play, see. Sony just geared toward games. I can see that. I can see it. It's just they what, what y'all doing now acquiring those studios you know y'all just gotta curate some that talent in your developer studios you know I, I sony know. be curating the curating their talent in the developer studios i mean you could probably have different opinions about it but hey i think the culture is still is starting to show you know you know this is american made microsoft you know and i see you can see sony that's really in the in that the japanese culture mm-hmm. is well, really well, like you into think this, this stuff is, you're right too but that's what i'm saying like microsoft now are the, the new guys the head i forgot the new the guy who's head they're all about making things as a service so that's why they probably going towards that route as well 
Mm. They're doing a hell so, of a job with it. Because the, they I, are. They are. Like all around. I just think the the, the game pass is is okay. I don't, I don't care for it too much. I do. I do enjoy it. Some, sometimes like Forza. I think most mm-hmm. of the exclusives are on there and they come with game pass like you got you get mm-hmm. forza seven uh what's the name for crackdown you got you get killer instinct you got a lot of great games on there you know what i'm saying and when most of the times when they do game pass i think i don't know if it's a limitation thing where they don't want to put too many big games out on it because of the software limitations of uh, the average person's computer you know what i'm saying so they going they going back and they putting all the old Final Fantasies. They putting the Neo Geo yeah. games on there. Which, yeah. How many times y'all got backwards compatible too? So that's that's what's up too, y'all. Y'all y'all a lot of they made it backwards compatible with like 360 games and some Xbox games. So oh, you know that's what? What's up. You know what killed them? That just just took the cake for me. In the games that I used to play on Xbox. It, it it knew that I had the games. Like if I, I guess if I had a save file on there, mm-hmm. it automatically downloaded the 360 version on, on Xbox. So all my 360 games are on my PS, my, my, on my Xbox, Xbox One Xbox already. One. Yeah, the, I was just say some of your features and then uh, services like Xbox is doing real good. Now. That that's dope. So that's real dope. So that's in dope. closing, what do you think? the xbox can do to top ps4 if if you think that it, 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 it it's pretty much settled this gen you know next gen it could be a whole different story like they like i said they acquired those five studios you know just curate the talent in there and we'll see next gen like this gen it's it's over with bro it's five years deep and I don't basically know. xbox have given up already kind of like that's what they focus on services but you know but it's like what else is coming out like okay gears 5 has come out in the fall we'll see how that turns out i really don't i really don't care for but gears. i think like most of the developers they got no games ain't coming out anytime soon so they probably wait next year so I don't, it'd probably be a whole different xbox next year yeah you know? i don't know they never xbox exclusives never were that great just being honest with you but y'all had them no? I, I mean, mean yeah halo you had a couple of surprises y'all had y'all had way more like I can't remember like xbox one y'all had halo with crimson skies Stop, y'all had good are you trying to be funny around. crimson skies no no but it was it was it was cool and then xbox 360 y'all had a lot but then a, like clearly you saw they were just like third party partnerships or second party partnerships yeah that's what i'm saying I like- and they went eventually went to ps3 but y'all still had a few like y'all's man like why y'all had you, a lot i don't know why would it. you even why would you even make exclusives anymore it's, they really the, the third party games are so good now you know what i'm saying mm, some of them capcom some of, is doing cop capcom is doing in a bag right now but not everybody cap, cap a lot is, of times you get is doing going nuts right now bro they they bag like ever since resident evil 7 they've been doing the damn thing like yeah. yo capcom is back like they taking the gaming industry by storm right now so but um well yeah i mean some I but you still got supposed to do but like i don't know but like i know you don't mess with a lot of sony exclusives but like as a whole people are liking the sony exclusives like what they've been doing for like because people was talking about like multiplayer again ga- i mean single player games you can't make that much money off of them or things of that nature but you see them like almost all playstation exclusives are critically acclaimed and commercially successful like almost all of them like the by the in-house developers have been reaching 10 million sales or at least will reach 10 million 10 million so but it took a minute though for them to get there because you know sony always starts off so because like 2014 was a dry ass year and the exclusives they launched with was all right and then 2015 came around with bloodborne they had the order too but that was uh, and then they had until dawn and yeah. then it really kicked off 2016 17 18 you know so yeah as exclusives i don't know I, I i never been a big exclusive guy you know what i'm saying so i guess that's really? why no i haven't like like i, I bought gears of war i mean not gears of, yeah I, I really enjoy gears of war 4 but 
God of War, but it was cool. I, don't, I, I didn't I didn't catch on to that game like that. The games True. like that. Uncharted, I, when I got to the past the third one, I just the fourth one is just more of the same. Honestly, like yeah, he jumping, yeah, it's prettier, but I'm doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I think they mix it up just enough. I don't know if you play so much in succession. Well, Uncharted 4, though, I feel like they got the gun gameplay down pat because every gunshot and things felt weighty. I feel like it went back in 3 because when, when you were shooting in Uncharted 3, they was feeling like the enemies was feeling like marshmallows and stuff and the AI was dumb. But I feel like they got the AI right. Like the AI is like above energy industry standard to me in Uncharted 4. And then like the way the guns feel when you shoot, the weight and impact of them, it really feel like you're shooting sacks of meat. And they <laughs> guns feel weighty. And I think the level design was better, but they, they fucked up in the pacing a little bit in four, especially when you get to a certain point, it's like only two gun gun fights per chapter. And it's like, come on now. And it'd be like a lot of walking and talking. But I enjoyed the little DLC they had off of it. That was like a standalone DLC expansion, Lost Legacy. That was dope. Um, but yeah, you said you wasn't so big ooh, in exclusives. Ooh. You know what you you what exclusive you left off of PS4 that really killed it though that I did like. Rezo Gun. <laughs> I did like Rezo Gun. I really I still play Rezo Gun, bro. But when I took it back, before I took it back, I played me a game of that. I love Rezo Gun. But what's the one what I was playing in the old scary game? I'm talking about The Last of Us. The Last of Us. And that y'all yeah. exclusive, right? Yeah, that's exclusive. That's a dope game, bro. So you're gonna what get happened to the new one? When is supposed to be a new one coming out? Yeah, there's a new one coming out, but they haven't said the release date yet. So we don't know if it's like 2019 or 2020. So do you think this is the last year of the console? I think next year. Next year might be. I don't know how they're going to do it. But so well, I guess I guess I can't really argue with it with you that much about, uh, about, about the exclusive. But as far as games and 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 services i think microsoft definitely got them beat in that yes and, services and probably features yeah features and all that stuff but if, you come, if it comes to pure gaming yeah. i guess i guess pure solo gaming can i i can say that you know? that's true too because like um sony don't playstation haven't had yet to have like a defining multiplayer game i mean i guess you could say socom but never reached to the level of heights socom like was terrible i don't want to talk about that, that was socom awful. was as a whole for a lot of people it was the truth i know you probably think it's here but as a whole for but like, I, I remember the first the first socom i saw mm -hmm. one and two you talking about like dude, people people talk about dark souls mm -hmm. you ever play socom one yeah, I played you it. Die at the end. I never played it. They I, I never the played. Feet. Yeah, I never played the online though. No, no, no. you don't want to play. It. You don't need to play it online. Try to beat. <laughs> try to beat. Try to. Have you ever beat a SoCom game? Yeah, I beat SoCom one back you, in the day. It was hard. It was definitely hard. That shit was it retarded, was, bro. It was hard as fuck. Like, wasn't the last level you was going to pay? Or what's yeah, yeah, it was like you was going through like a some a desert terrain. town. It was yeah, like a mountainous okay. terrain, and you had to get the uh capture this dude alive mm -hmm. and you arrest him but right bro them bro I, I just remember in that game the first boy set off everything trying to take that boat trying to read uh right re man that was so dope that game was so hard but we got we i got couldn't beat the first level of socon too i kept just like restarting like okay i fucked up restart yeah it's, it's up, restart. yeah it's dumb hard and unforgiving so the people talk about dark souls socon yeah. People used to say the first Splinter Cell was really hard. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I that's that, that, shit. that was. I could that never was get cool. into Splinter Cell. I just, it was just too much at the time. And the AI was like, it was like fighting ten Spider Man because they just Spider Man <laughs> single. You know what I'm saying? They just look at you wherever it at. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's yeah. like division now. But now, I want y'all to understand now. We, which we gonna get into in another another uh, segment talking about the division but the division ai it's good no it ain't it's i mean it's I mean, not it wasn't great that good in the first one i just it's i just feel like it's, it's like the the stealth 
it should, like if you was a stealth guy, it's not for stealth people. You know what I'm saying? But that's yeah. that's for that's for our next segment. So in closing, man, the, I guess I guess you, I, I'm gonna have to give it to you because I ain't come with my numbers. You know what I'm saying? So I, I guess you gonna win this hot take. All right, I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> so thanks for listening. We're gonna get that one to Jay. Oh yeah. I try to debate against of him. I, I need I need to do more research. Mm-hmm. But signing off, man. JNT, man. I catch y'all on the next hot take.